SMP beg Westminster to bail them out. Isn't it amazing how you won't see this story on the mainstream? You won't hear it in the national. But a fine has now been given to the UK, which was meant to be half of what it actually is now. It's going to be 32 million from the EU. This is because, due to our crappy Brexit deal, we are still required to pay EU farming subsidies and comply with EU standards, which is a lot of rubbish, of course. But Scotland wasn't fully compliant, and as a result, they received a f the fine. The SNP devolved administration were unable to pay this fine and had to send a humiliating, grovelling letter to Westminster saying, help us because we cannot possibly pay said fine. Now, if Westminster does pay this fine, then, frankly, they can sod off. They should tell the EU to get lost and stick two fingers up at them. But Scotland could also avoid the fine, not just because Westminster will bail them out, but also because the UK as a whole is far more efficient than Scottish agriculture, meaning that as the, for the UK as a whole, Scotland may escape its part of the fine. But... The SNP won't admit this, but if they were not part of the UK, they will be facing now a fine of £32 million pounds or euros, one or the other. The bigger point for me is not just the SNP, but it's the, the they want to go back into Europe, the very organisation that is finding us and trying to get money out of us, on a small technicality by the way at that. And these are the very people that want to leave the UK, where they would now be being fined by Europe and have no recourse whatsoever if it wasn't for having the backup of Westminster. If Westminster pay this fine, by the way, they can sod off. That just proves how cowardly and spineless they really are. Hopefully they don't pay it anyway, but we'll see. But I imagine they will because they are so limp and, as I said, spineless.